Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you how you can remove this uh, uh, After Effects if once you remove the decal. Uh, you know, a lot of people just peel the decals off or if you buy a used car, uh, you may see something like that, you know. And then um, try to get rid of this uh, has always been a challenge. You know, there are a lot of videos on YouTube that I tried and some of them worked and some of them required a lot of elbow grease. But uh, I tried a few products and I'll show you the best way and the easiest way to get this off. These are the few things that I tried. Um, WD-40, does it work? Uh, yes, but does it require a lot of elbow grease? Heck yeah. So it will definitely remove some, you know, but uh, it'll take forever. I also tried dentured alcohol. Uh, this stuff also works, but again, it requires a lot of uh, rubbing. Um, now, one thing that I did not see on YouTube was this one, kerosene oil. Um, this stuff, you know, I picked up from Walmart um, and uh, I tried that and guys, this is probably the easiest thing that I tried. So I'll show you guys, I'll demonstrate. Uh, so over here, you can see, we just a little elbow grease. This is stuff cleans it all. Now, the key part is you just have to make sure you, the rag, if it gets filled up with dirt, uh, use the other side because uh, what, it's, what it's doing is removing that dirt, uh, whatever the sticky part is, and it's uh, putting it on your, uh, this rag right here. So as you can see how easy this stuff comes off with little elbow grease. And again, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some on the other side. And as you can see, it's pretty well gone. But just to get everything 100% perfect. You know, again, I'm trying it with one hand, so it's kind of hard for me to do this. But there you go, as you can see. This is stuff clears up, you know, and then uh, of course, uh, after you clean the gunk out, spray some, um, clean the car, and then you can do some waxing. And if you see some effect, you know, uh, you may see some discoloration depending on how long the decal has been there. Uh, but once you buff it off and polish it, that stuff goes away. But you can see all that sticky part is gone and it's nice and clean. So here's an example I'm showing you. Uh, as you can see, I, uh, it was it used to be like this, you know, it was pretty hard. And then I start cleaning up. And then here you can see it's nice and clean, nothing on the door. And then this is stuff I've not cleaned yet. And uh, again, you can see how easy it comes off. Pretty easy. So guys, that, that kind of worked out pretty good. Uh, another trick I tried uh, along with this uh, kerosene, so I cleaned up the gunk that was inside. So there's, there's always uh, sticky stuff, you know, the best way to get the, rid of the sticky stuff is uh, definitely kerosene uh, cord. But sometimes the outside line uh, get left behind, you know, and that's kind of hard. So I removed the inside sticky stuff uh, and the outside stuff, you can clean up with dentured alcohol and it works out pretty good. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I clean up the inside with kerosene and the outside lines are coming right off with dentured. And it wasn't really coming off with the uh, uh, kerosene. <clears throat> now remember, the inside of stuff is uh, gooey stuff, you know, that's the sticky part and that uh, kerosene oil that takes off that sticky part versus the outside of stuff, that's all that gunk that's gathered through over the years, you know, and these are the outside dirt uh, that's that gets accumulated on the paint and that comes off very easy with the dentured uh, alcohol. And that's, that's the two step process that I'm doing on this particular one. Uh, if your sticker is fairly new, you may not need to do the second part with the dentured alcohol, um, since you may not even have that outside line, you know, it all depends on how much miles you have on this car, on your truck, you know, uh, on this particular truck, I have about 200,000 miles. So, uh, that's, that's how you do it pretty much guys. So it all depends on how many miles you have on your car. This truck have a few miles, you know, so it's coming, it's coming off pretty easy. And that's pretty much the way to do it, guys. Um, so again, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.